tutorial on how to automate a graph. Um, so here we have some people's savings. We've got the names here, the saving amounts here. Um, so the first thing is what you want to do is group that so we can now insert it and create a table. So we've now got our table. And if we go over this now, one of the things to be aware of is when this first does this, it will set up as all, which basically means if you add extra uh, lines and rows, it will pick it up. Um, I'll save that for another tutorial because a lot of you guys just want it quick and easy at the minute. Um, but I'll demonstrate what that actually means in a second. So we go back to insert and let's have a column. That will do just for a demo. And there's our data. Now, I'll just demonstrate what I was talking about. So we're going to add Luke, which has gone sideways for no apparent reason. Doing it backwards, that's a bit weird. Okay, so Luke's now here on the end. I'm going to give him 200. As you can see, that's what I was talking about. It just adds it. Um, you don't have to keep adding and updating your graph. It will automatically add it in. Now, the beauty of this as well is you can use the data from elsewhere. So, for example, like here, John's savings are here. Um, and at the moment, it's 600. Well, let's make some of these zero. So you can see the... Oh, John's already dynamic, is he? Yeah, I've already done it. Um, so John's got a figure here where, well, it does a sum which basically counts the the numbers up here instead of where the other ones are fixed amounts. The advantage you got with doing it this way is you can go to another another source. So, for example, if you're doing profit and loss, you can take all your totals and put them down like this, and it will keep updating it, which means if you do monthly reports, as long as you're main spreadsheets up to date it will automatically update this and update your graph which means you're presenting um, a graph in figures pretty much on the fly every month uh, which can save a considerable amount of time if you're doing it manually every month but anyway guys that was pretty much it and thanks for watching